I am gonna show you the one cake that you need to make all summer long for every summer party. It's a cornmeal berry sheet cake. It bakes in one layer, no frosting, but beautiful berries on top. And everyone's gonna love it. We start with one and a half sticks of butter right into the mixer. Let's get this going. This is about as basic of a cake as it gets. One and a half cups of sugar. And slowly pour it in. And I want the sugar to incorporate in the butter. Next, three eggs. Once you see the egg disappear, add the next one. We're going to flavor it a little bit with a little bit of vanilla extract, one and a half teaspoons. Now we need our dry ingredients. One and a half cups of flour, three quarters of a cup of cornmeal. This is just regular cornmeal and this is what's really gonna give it a little bit of crunch. Three quarter teaspoon of salt. Salt always brings out every bit of flavor and one and a half teaspoons of baking powder. That's for leavener. Now quickly whisk these together and now this is gonna get added to the butter mixture. I'm gonna turn this down so my butter doesn't fly everywhere. And then half of the buttermilk and the buttermilk is just gonna add a tangy note that is so good in a cake. Another third of the dry, and that's it. Okay, so we have to scrape down the sides and get every bit of batter that's on the sides and make sure there aren't any butter lumps. That looks perfect. So now we have our pan. This is just a basic nine by 13 baking pan. I've buttered it, I've lined it with parchment, and I like to keep these overhangs because this will make it easy to pull the cake out when it's done. Now, batter goes in. Okay. Now, my favorite tool, the little offset spatula. This makes spreading so easy. As you can see, the batter looks great. It's nice and smooth. You see those little bits of cornmeal. Now come the berries. I have three different kinds of berries and I'm just gonna sprinkle them on the top. If the berries are really big like these blackberries, I've cut them in half, scatter them around. Blueberries. And then my favorite, the raspberries. And of course, these add great color as well. And these will sink in a little bit, but they will stay on top to really give you that color. Two tablespoons of sugar goes over just to give it a sparkly crunch. Looks great. So this goes into a 325 degree oven for about an hour. Check it with a toothpick. When it's clean, it's ready and it'll be nice and golden brown. Our cornmeal berry sheet cake is totally cool. It took about an hour, but you could certainly bake this in the morning for your afternoon picnic. I'm going to use a knife to loosen up the sides. I think I'm going to grab a big spatula to help me pull it out and then right onto the board. You can cut this into squares. I like to do 12 squares. So it's in half down the middle and then each side in half again. So we have four this way and then three this way. This is a nice generous serving. And the berries look so great. They've sunk into the cake and released their juices. Looks really beautiful. So take one off. My spatula. Okay. Look how pretty that is. And with very little effort. From here we can do a little whipped cream. Ooh, it looks so good. Mmm, delicious. I love that cornmeal crunch and the berries are so good. Be sure to try this one.